Days after the conclave ends, the rule of Pope Francis and the Argentine dictatorship hounds him. Leftist author Horacio Verbitsky says then Father Jorge Bergoglio collaborated with Argentine dictator Jorge Rafael Videla. Verbitsky extensively wrote about Argentina's dirty war from 1976 to 1983. Verbitsky publishes a photo of Bergoglio giving Holy Communion to Videla. Critics also bring up the case of two Jesuits whom Bergoglio allegedly failed to protect from the dictatorship. Bergoglio denies this claim. In 2005, his biographer says he took extraordinary behind-the-scenes action to save them. I found out who the military chaplain was who gave mass to Videla and convinced that priest to call in sick, and I managed to be named to replace him. Bergoglio appealed for mercy for the two priests. British journalist Robert Cox says Verbitsky is not wrong in his claim, but says the militant author doesn't understand the complexity of Bergoglio's position back then, when things were so dangerous. Under Bergoglio's leadership, Argentina's bishops issued an apology in 2012 for the church's failure to protect its flock. These issues were raised before the 2005 conclave, when Bergoglio turned out to be a runner-up to Pope Benedict. This time around, the negative campaigning after he ascends the seat of St. Peter does not seem to dent the enthusiasm for the new Pope. In his first homily as pontiff, Pope Francis makes it clear politics isn't his priority. He says the Catholic Church should go back to basics or it will become what he calls a pitiful NGO. E terzo, confessare. Noi possiamo camminare tutto che vogliamo, noi possiamo edificare tante cose, ma se non confessiamo Gesù Cristo, la cosa non va. Diventeremo una ONG piatosa, ma non la chiesa sposa del Signore. Pope Francis stresses faith and courage. Inevitably, Pope Francis will interact with more leaders and dictators as he leads 1.2 billion Catholics. Catholics will look for the courage that critics back home say he lacked when confronted by a tyrant. Paterno is Michael Rappler, Manila.